Uh, Mario created for the 3DS, you know, and, and this one was actually someone that I was kind of like, meh. Man. Really? No, yeah, he, oh, he's coming towards me. Oh, he's coming towards me. Oh, he's going away from me. Oh, he's going away. Tanuki. That's what sold me. I, I, I was like, okay, this is now kind of interesting, because when you bring back the Tanuki suit, maybe he'll have other things, too. Maybe we'll have the, uh, the, the Goomba shoe. Hammer Brothers suit. That's my favorite. These are things that uh, they could definitely do, but the, the level just looked a little plain. Yeah. But maybe it'll be vamped up. Once again, these these aren't you know these are all. Uh, it looked like it looked like a standard Mario sixty four level, but uh, the way I see it, you you throw in Mario three into any Mario game, people are gonna buy it yeah. because that is by far their favorite Mario. We were we were at E three. First thing we saw is a video game museum. First thing I picked up was Mario 3 on the NES. And you just and then, started playing And it. I just started playing it. I beat, I beat level 2, and then I was on level 3, and I was like, wait a minute. I, I need to stop this, because I can play this at home. <laughs> I'm at E3. I can, go, I can go play the new Mario on, like, Nintendo's booth, but instead I'm playing Mario 3. So, so that's the power of Mario 3. <laughs> and Nintendo realizes it, because new Super Mario Brothers... Yeah. For the Wii was basically Mario 3, yeah. and this is no different. The DS, DS, the 3DS needs a Mario. Yep, and it'll the, be good. And before 2011 is over, that's going to be a nice one, too. Um, Kid Icarus Uprising. Once again, something I wasn't too interested in. Uh, I wasn't too impressed with it. Uh, the storyline, ability to battle others, uh, those are all okay. But the two of us, AR cards. When you talk AR cards, we're going to listen. And sure enough, they had the two AR cards, and they started battling each other. Okay, and I can't for, wait for, that. for those of the, you who don't own a 3DS, probably don't know this because they don't pimp this part out of the 3DS. And this is essentially the best part of it. The 3D with no glasses, that, that who cares? It's like, secondary. It's, it's, it hurts my eyes after a while, and I'm like, no, we got to slap this back into 2D. But the fact that it utilizes the, the, the uh, 3DS camera, and it can, it can do that, I forget what it's called, but like, it's like a virtual reality thing. Augmented reality. Augmented reality. And so basically it takes like a barcode and then makes like a character appear out of it. And, and like, I didn't know about this. And the moment I saw this, I was like, I need to get this system. It doesn't matter if there aren't any games utilizing it yet. This system is awesome because their barcode, their barcode is is not a barcode. It's the picture of a character. So they they advanced it that far, and to be able to do that is amazing. Like Yu-Gi-Oh is real now. Like <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is real. Like when we were watching the anime and they were throwing out cards and like creatures were coming out and like that. That doesn't exist. That does It exists now. <laughs> it's the future. Yeah. So, um, Kid Icarus will be using, will be utilizing the AR cards, and we saw them actually put them down. They popped out, and then they started battling. Yeah, and that was exciting. That that's something that really gets me hopeful that this system will will do more than what people are just thinking about. You, you'll be able to actually take the system and go, okay, yeah, we've got 3D possibilities, but this is a powerful system. This is powerful. How can we use that power? How can we use the cameras? How can we use other things? And the AR is going to be the best way to do some the of these system, things. The system is going to revolutionize gaming. A handheld system is going to revolutionize gaming. and it's it's just amazing. It it just blows every other system out of the water. No system can catch up to this, unless it utilizes all three aspects of what I've seen this system do. Mm. And and I wasn't a fan of this system before because all they were all they were saying was, look, it it, it has three D and you don't need glasses and I don't care because three I I I hate seeing movies in three D and. I, if there's a chance for me to see a 3D movie in 2D, I, I take it. Because I have glasses, and wearing glasses on top of glasses sucks. 
And granted, I don't need to wear glasses with this, but it's still, I turn it off. But AR cards, the fact that the camera, you know, you takes a picture and then it, it augments your face so that it can, like, do expressions and stuff. And I'm getting off topic. Yeah. We're talking about the We're Nintendo talking about Nintendo stuff. E3 conference, <laughs> not specifically 3DS, because it's out. And... A lot of you have it, so we're going to continue on to the 3D. Luigi's um, Mansion yeah, the, the 2, E3. Matt. Luigi's Mansion 2, Matt. So so Luigi's, not even going to talk about it. Uh, we're not into that. Uh, Luigi's Mansion. Eh. Yeah, it's, it's Luigi's. It's not that. Uh, third party. Uh, Resident Evil. Looks interesting. I'm a big Resident Evil fan. I'll, I'll probably end up getting it. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Olympics. The, uh... We'll see. I we'll could see. give a crap about Olympics. Yeah. I, I don't... Yeah. Ace Combat. Oh, no, wait, but I do want to say one thing. Oh, yeah. That, that I did... It caught my eye, because... Was the... Uh, the Mario uh, Sonic Olympics... They have judo. I saw that. It caught my eye. I saw... There was a, there was a moment where... Where Mario and Sonic were... They were grappling each other, and then... One of them just did a Tayotoshi, and then... And I was like, wait, what was that?! But aside from that, so, so um, I, I, I did judo for 10 years, so it's those kinds of things like catch my eye. So if you're into judo, there's a judo game now. <laughs> <laughs> With Mario and Sonic. Mario and Sonic. Uh, Tetris. It's Tetris. Every DS, or every Game Boy needs a Tetris. Yeah. Uh, Cave Story looked interesting. Uh, you know, looked interesting. Uh, Driver. Was actually kind of surprised about Driver. Really? Yeah, I was actually surprised that it would, they were going to put it out there. Well, my 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 friends, um, my friends all love they they all love the old drivers. Mm -hmm. So, if this comes out, they'll go pick it up. Yeah, I'm not a big driving guy, so I won't. Yeah, Pac Man, man, Pac Man looked awesome. I don't know if I'd pick it up. Yeah, uh, Tekken. Actually, kind of interested. I'm a virtual fighter guy. He's a virtual fighter. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, Metal Gear. From what I heard from some people who were actually at the Metal Gear booth, the Metal Gear 3D booth, they said it looked pretty good. Metal Gear, yeah, it it delivers. It, um, some people say that sometimes it doesn't, but from what I've seen, 3, 4, even like 2, 1, um, they all deliver. Yep. Uh, Pokemon. Once again, the AR cards. Uh, you're, you're able... I just downloaded mine last night on 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 and we're gonna play with it a little bit tonight and see what happens. All right, but. <laughs> to clear it up, it's not it's not Pokemon. It's just the Pokedex. But yeah, I'm here to tell you that the, the AR card is gonna revolutionize this <laughs> system. No, I, I'm telling you because because it's not a barcode. They're using pictures. You can literally take a photocopy of the cards, blow it up, and make like a two-story Mario. It's amazing. So what that means is, is that for all of you who love Pokemon, or ever loved Pokemon, and you have your Poke, poke cards. What? Poke cards? Poke. Well, I guess so. The Poke, <laughs> poke AR cards. Po Pokemon. If you have your, like, just the ones that, you know, you play uh, tradable, trade card games with back in the day, it's like they could take those pictures, program them into the into the game, so they could utilize your old cards that you have. We're very excited about this. <laughs> We're it's very excited about Amazing. It. <laughs> so a Pokemon game, can you imagine that? Like if they if they programmed it so that they programmed it so that life was Pokemon. Like if they programmed the stop sign to be a Pokemon. You could go walking around your neighborhood, stop sign, boom, Pokemon, catch the Pokemon, yep, or and whatever. Take out an AR card that's a that's a Ultra Ball or something, pop it down right next to it, and try and capture it. We've I've talked about this on my stream too. I mean, I, I really and this the new Pokemon, uh, you know, Pokedex that they've got, amazing, and it's free, folks. It's free. So if you've got a 3DS, download this thing. It, it it'll be it'll be big. It'll be big. Um, but, but the big thing that we wanted to talk about what was, was the, big the Wii U, the new system, the Wii 2, which is the Wii U, because it's Wii and U. So 
The Wii U. <laughs> Let's talk about the stats. Uh, 6.2 inch screen, mm -hmm. backwards compatible. It's got a touch yes. screen, it's got a camera, an accelerometer. Mm -hmm. It's not a portable machine like this, it is a controller. It works with HDTV naturally. It's mm -hmm. a natural HDTV, which people said would never happen with Nintendo, but hey folks, it's happening. Um, two, it's going to be a second screen, so you'll have your TV screen and then you'll have this second screen. You can do video chat with it. You can play the games not on the TV. You can just put it now onto the screen and finish a game. Dad wants to watch, you know, soccer or something, you know, or, or soccer. football. Dad wants to watch soccer, huh? Or football or some baseball. <laughs> Dad wants to watch sports. So yeah, that's you, true. all of a sudden, you're finishing your game. Oh, Dad, I'm in the middle. No. <laughs> Click, and you're on here. You want to play golf. Oh, that was a big thing. Oh, they showed God. so many ways to use the screen, and people were like, ooh, ooh. But as soon as they put that screen down on the floor, took out the Wiimote, and played golf, the, the, the crowd went nuts. All right. You, you clarify, probably didn't see it in the video. To clarify, though, it went it's, uh, Justin did not cover the fact that it's backwards compatible with all your Wii peripherals. So it it uses the it uses the the Wiimote, the nunchuck, it uses the balance board, it uses it uses everything you use right now with your Wii. So that gun lot well, granted it's a piece of plastic that you, you put the but the gun thing, there's actually we saw that there was an attachment that you could put the new Wii U controller on it, and then you can become like a sniper. So so I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, which was Goal Go thirteen, baby. That's all that, that's going to be. So the controller, not only um, you can use it like the, the Wiimote and do the golf thing, but it, it allows you to do a screen in screen. So if, they, if, if your Wii U, Wii U Mote, I don't know what we're going to call it. Wii U Mote. <laughs> um, if you bring it up to the screen, it'll, it'll interact with your TV. So in a sense, there are games where you can see a building and then you bring up your, your uh, Wii U mote, and it'll zoom in to, to, like, close up. And they were using this for the sniper game. They tilted it, and they started, like, throwing shootykin out of it, and it would appear on the TV screen. That was, that that was, was freaking amazing. You could, you could for, for all the casual gamers, if you have a Wii balance board, you don't have to turn on your TV anymore. You just take the controller, step on the thing, do your thing, and all of it is encompassed on the screen, on the Wii U mode. I guess that's what we're going to call it right now until they clarify that. But it, it's it's just going to be a game changer. Like, the first thing I thought of was, like, can you imagine, like, uh, FPS with this thing? Like, you put it on your, your gun thing, and now you don't have to use the analog anymore. You have a gun. So you can... You can move faster than a PC can move with their mouse because you are literally going down and shooting things, ducking and and and, and avoiding it. it uh, this weekend, uh, while I've been in California, we went to a uh, uh, an arcade. This does have relevance, I promise. <laughs> we went to an arcade, and there's a gun shooter that has uh, sensors, and as you have the gun, you can duck behind things and on the screen it ducks you behind this. Now imagine if your TV screen is the exact same but you've now got this Wiimote. It's doing the exact same thing and it's sensing everything so you can actually go around and, and do things. Uh, if you're playing an RPG uh, all your secondary items uh, that you can choose are now on the screen. Uh, uh, Legend of Zelda, you know, you, you no longer have to pull up the map, you've got the map, you've got everything right there. Which could be a problem because people are used to pulling up the map and pausing the game. Yeah. So now it's, it's in real time. You're just like, you have no excuse. You need to be fast. You need to be on it. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is that the, the, this, I mean, this isn't the first time Nintendo tried something like this, because if you remember on the GameCube, they had a game called Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. And in that set setup, you were forced to use the, um, the Game, game Boy, Boy SP. Yeah. yeah, Game Boy Advance SP. Or just Advance. And then you had a cable, and all your menu items was on, on 
your system, mm -hmm. and then you just kind of played multiplayer. And so now that could be that could be a downloadable game yep. because you have your your screen now. And the thing is, is that you could be playing with your Wii U mote on a game with other people who have Wii modes. So it's still you could play the same game with those people. So if you have your old Wii motes, you don't throw them away because no. it'll totally work on your new system. And if we're playing a game where uh, he needs to see the screen for one thing and I need to see the screen for another thing, instead of telling him to turn away, I'm going to make a play now, I just make the play right over here. Or like they showed in baseball, I make a decision uh, of, of you know how I'm going to throw the ball uh, on, on my Wii U mote throw the ball and then he uses his Wii modes to hit the ball and then I now have to catch the ball with my Wii mode because you have to track it. it it's it's there's so many things that this system could do and it's all going to be in the controller and that was one of the big things you know so many uh, and I bring this up because I was so unimpressed with uh, you know the, the, the motion and the play from Microsoft and and you know Sony because it's a Wiimote. Well now your body's the Wiimote. But we have a Wiimote. It was made by Nintendo and it's doing really well. And now you're making Wiimotes? One's a lollipop and one makes your body the Wiimote? And then this year Nintendo went, okay, what do you think about this? Microsoft and Sony have no they have, no, they have nothing. Yeah. They, they have they have absolutely nothing, and we haven't we didn't go to the Sony conference or the uh, Microsoft conference. But from what we've heard, we didn't miss anything. Well, and I saw the blistered thumbs, uh, you know, review about it. You know, as Joe tweeted about it, point by point. Still not impressed. Still not impressed. And people on the floor who did go, they said, yeah, we weren't even impressed. So. I, I'm I'm gonna wait off on the Microsoft one just until, but I did you know see vicariously the uh, the, the the Sony one, but but the thing is we we saw it, like when we were passing the the Microsoft booth, I didn't see anything. I was like every every game out now that they're developing is for the Kinect, mm -hmm. and I'm like who care like who cares because all we've seen are dance games and. That's about it. Like, yeah. well, I, I can't even. Like, there was some game where you look like a fool, and I was like, the connect should be. I have no problem. <laughs> the connect should be. You should be able to be like a fighter, or you should be able to do like a two D side scroll or beat 'em up. You should. It shouldn't just be like you're a jumping jack, and like now you gotta knock balls. It should be. They should think about how they he said can knock balls. Oh, not sorry, my I'm balls. sorry. <laughs> um, but they're not thinking about the innovation that it brings to the table. Mm -hmm. And Nintendo is like, you you could have you could have predicted all that stuff with Nintendo's systems. You had no clue. Like it was just, what is going on? Like yeah. who? Are you? Do you have time travelers? Do you have Doc <laughs> Brown ready for the DeLorean? And he's like, we're going to the future. Where we're going, you don't need controllers. And then he, like, jets off. You know what? Um, um, what's his name? Um, uh, Frodo. Uh, 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 Lord of the Rings? The, no, the actor who plays... Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood was right in Back to the Future 2. You gotta use your hands. It's a baby's toy. He, he wasn't. He wasn't in Back to the Future too. Yeah, it was. was he what? was the guy. He was the little kid who Marty goes up to and he's like, "Oh, wild gunman!" And then he's like, "Boom, boom, boom, boom!" And the kid looks at him. And he's like, "You gotta use your hands. That's a baby's toy." I did not know. I did not know. Anyways, <laughs> the thing was that Nintendo, whereas other groups. Even last year, we're going, this is what we have. Nintendo said, this is what we have. Here's what's possible. These aren't even things we're making. Some of these are just demos that you're going to touch. The, but this is what's 
possible. And the demos that, just looked awesome. I that, just... that impressed me more than anything else. Uh, was, was just knowing that they took this and went, okay, how can we make this happen? You know, and, and if we do make this happen, is it going to be stupid? It, how are people going to use this? Now, I'm a Nintendo fanboy. I'm going to get that right out. But I have no problems with Sony or Microsoft. Yeah, I have their systems. I play their systems. I like their stuff. I, I yeah. really like Sony. I really like a lot of Microsoft stuff. But when, they, when it comes to a, a conference like this and you have something that you need to put out uh, to, to, to impress people, I was most impressed with how Nintendo showed their stuff. And and like you know, Mark said, hate or love the Wii, the Wii sold more consoles than Microsoft and Sony. And the thing is is that I can it's say just a, it's just a fact. It, it is just a fact. And the thing is they're banking on because I don't think the new system will come with Wii Motes. But a lot of the games require you to have Wii Motes. But since the Wii sold more than everything else they're just assuming that everyone has Wii's. And we probably do! <laughs> I have a Wii. He has a Wii. Probably everyone on Blister Thumbs has a Wii. So... Except for Joe. Joe doesn't have a Wii. I don't think Joe has a Wii. I could be wrong. Joe, if, if you have a Wii, <laughs> you let me know. <laughs> right that down just the sounds comments. really bad. If you have a Nintendo Wii, let me know. Um, the, the thing that the thing that surprised me though, because this is this wasn't my first E three, and last year wasn't my first E three. The thing that surprised me the most is that I don't know what Nintendo is doing, but like when they back in the day when they did the N sixty four, it was like, what are you doing? Like this is like old news. Like the the PlayStation had been out, the the um, the Saturn had been out. N64 had nothing. And then when the GameCube came out, everyone was like, what is going on with this system? <laughs> like, what? you are not even in the game, Nintendo. I remember back in the day, it was, it was like, give it up. Like, okay, you have the handheld, you have the handheld cons, you, you, no one can, no one can make a handheld system. You, you won, you won the race with just your green and yellow screen. Like, that required four batteries that lasted two hours. And, and at this point in time, no one can beat you in the handheld race. But in the home system, I remember I was interning for IGN and everyone was like, dude, you need to go the Sega route and just drop the system and just make games. But lo and behold, they were like, no, 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 no. We would like to make a console. And then they made the Wii and then they just broke down all the walls and yeah. and last year they brought out the 3DS and this year they brought out the Wii U and it you would have never guessed no. 10 years ago that they would be on top again I wouldn't have guessed at 8 o'clock this morning uh, never you don't think so? no, no, I, at 8 o'clock I was thinking They've talked a lot of talk, and, and we've heard rumors. I, I heard a lot of rumors about, you know, the, the, the screen was going to be detachable. And, yeah, I heard that too. And, and all this stuff. And, and no, I, I, I was like, put up, you know. And then when Iwata came out and teased the, oh, no, nah, no, nah, whatever. I'm sold. They sold me through this conference. You know what the Wii was? Because the Wii was inferior in graphics, processing speed, even in, I don't think, I don't think it had Wi-Fi. It just had you. Had, you could only plug it in. Mm -hmm. The Wii was their Game Boy, because every other company was making a color system and they were making better graphics. Nintendo was like, no, hold on. Hold no, on. we had Wi-Fi. We had Wi-Fi. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, they were just hold on, hold on, and then all of a sudden, bam, Wii U, in your face. Look at this! Look at this crazy technology! Like, whoa! And the graphics are comparable to uh, a PS3 and, uh, and an Xbox 360. Uh, and like you said, we've now matched all three consoles. They all have now the same graphics. There's no way that the graphics can be better now. We, now we've got to figure out innovation. Now we've got to work on other things. And once again, in Nintendo, 
prove that. Yeah, we have crap graphics, but we've sold more than anybody else. And now they say, okay, now we have graphics. And we're still got something else that we can do with this. It, it, sure. It's just very interesting. Um, really quick, on to uh, other things. Uh, Darksiders 2, Dirt, Aliens, Ghost Recon, Metro uh, laser, uh, light, laser Light, Tekken, Ninja Gaiden, uh, Gaiden. Really bloody. I mean, that one's really like a, you know, hey, we're no longer just for kids. Here's your blood and gore. You want to be uh, first-person shooters? Here you go. All these things. But the big one, well, yes, we had a, we were talking with Team Ninja, trying to figure out whether or not we want to do a, a new Super Smash Brothers for the 3DS or for the Wii U. Hey, guess what, bitches? It's for both, you know? That's, that's just... <laughs> Like they didn't, they didn't even have anything. They they didn't they didn't even have a title graphic. They just said, "That's all." That's the power of Nintendo. They just have to say Super Smash Brothers, and everyone goes nuts. And it'll work together. You can play 3DS and Wii Wii U, and it'll be the same game. They'll, they'll connect somehow. I, it's, amazing. it's like, amazing. Like connecting that handheld with the system. They tried to do it with the GameCube. It wasn't the right time. Mm -hmm. It was. I remember it was so broken. Me and my friends would get together and compile all our advances and play this Crystal Chronicles, and it was garbage. But now it's not because well, I don't know. I haven't played it yet. We'll try to take we'll a look at it. Is. But the games that they had, they said they were just tech demos. But those games looked awesome. Like there was this one game where like two people are like these aliens on the ground, and then one person was in this like spaceship, and they were like shooting each other from like the ground in the sky. And I was like, "This and isn't a game." The bad guy was using the Wii U. It, it's it's a cool thing. So today's Nintendo conference was just absolutely a lot of fun, and. In fact, E3 was just a lot of fun, and we could go on and on about E3, but you'll find out about that in our uh, video interviews that we've got. We've got quite a few interviews coming up oh, yeah. in the next week, uh, and, and very exciting, so, yeah. But Nintendo was amazing today. I have to say, Nintendo won again. Like, last year, it's obvious that they won. They just they threw tons of titles at us, and even though this year they don't, they don't have as many titles. It's it's just like it's it's still amazing. They still have Kid Icarus. They still have Mario Kart. They still have uh, I guess Luigi's Mansion. Not really Star Fox. You guys like the Star Fox. Um, <laughs> they have the Pokedex. And not only that, they're giving you guys with 3DSs a free game. I'm giving yeah, uh, Excite Bike. It's it's. It's amazing. It actually looks really good. We played it's it a little really bit today, cool. and uh, it's it's a really cool. And it's free. Free game for your 3DS. Go free get one because it's only for a month. They also talked about the the um, the the games that you can download, mm -hmm. and they said that there's going to be exclusive games for the download store on your 3DS, and they're all going to be Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. Yep, and then later on we're going to get some Game Gear, we're going to get some TurboGrafx-16 action in there. It's it's just going to be an exciting time to be a, a Nintendo fan. And, uh, you know, and, and not to knock the other groups, we've actually got interviews with uh, with several other groups that do yeah. things for Microsoft and Sony and those got us excited we're just talking about the conference right now but uh, so so don't think that we're hating on other groups we're, we're totally not they but, just haven't shown us anything yeah anything new from their conferences now some of the game companies on the other hand now some of those looked really really exciting and so you'll have, just have to watch to see those interviews and see what we thought of it. And we're going to get Batman. I'm gonna try. Batman Arkham City. <laughs> that's the game I want to see. If I don't see that game, I'm going to cry. And that's only going to be on the Microsoft and PlayStation. So, you know, there true. are some games that, uh, you know, every game system has its users. And so, you know, everything is 
just fine. We're just talking about the Nintendo conference. So. I, I saw a game on the floor that was a downloadable game for only Xbox, which yes. made me sad. Yes! Because that game would make me buy an Xbox. Seriously. Just that game. That game. And we have the review. And I played that game when I was a kid. And I know that game backwards and forwards. And the guy I was talking to knew that game backwards and forwards. I was like, right on, dude. So I may have to buy an Xbox 360 just for that. <laughs> Which sucks. So, But it's good for them. Because... Mm -hmm. So okay, so that was our uh, that was our little thing about the Nintendo Crawfords. Big thumbs up to Nintendo for giving us uh, some interesting stuff to look forward to. Hopefully, it comes out very soon. Probably, hope hopefully next year about this time. That's when I would like to see the. Oh, the and Wii another game. thing is, is that as for okay, Batman is the game I want to see. Granted, but it's for <laughs> PS3 and Xbox, but PS3 and Xbox first party titles pale into comparison to Skyward Sword, which we saw last year, which I want to play again, because that game is so awesome! <laughs> it looks like they really ramped up the graphics, like they really ramped up the gameplay. I guess people at, you know, they listened to the people who were complaining at E3. I don't even care if they listened to them! And they I just want to play better. that demo I played last year! <laughs> that game was so fun! We'll see you guys later. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching.